Welcome to XAR template tutorial lesson number 88. In this tutorial for XAR Web Designer MX Premium version 8, I'm going to talk about how to create a photo slideshow without any control bars. In other words, your users at your website won't be able to click a previous button or like a previous arrow and they won't be able to click a next arrow to go to the next sequence in the photo slideshow. So it's going to automatically transition between the photos. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is I had a YouTube viewer request, so that's why you're seeing this tutorial right now. The first thing that you want to go ahead and do is go to File, go to New, and then go to Animation. That's going to bring up a new animation. And if you can't see the animation frame gallery, go to the right hand side of your screen and make that pop out. Go ahead and lock that panel. And if you can't see that animation frame gallery option on the right hand side of your screen, go to Utilities, and then go to Galleries and make sure that there's a checkbox by frame gallery. If it's not, you're going to want to go ahead and left click on that. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, grab some photos. So let's go ahead and go to the designs gallery and lock that panel. And then we're going to, the folders that you want to click on are page elements, then click on photos, and then click on landscape photos. And when you're in the landscape photo folder, Go ahead and drag that first image into your workspace and then we're going to go ahead and resize that. And once you resize that, go ahead and hit Control C and we're going to make a copy of that image. And the reason we co we're copying that is because we want to keep the same dimensions and the same size. So that way when we transition through our, our frame shots or our snapshots of our animation, we don't have any see-through as it's transitioning between the different images and hopefully you understand what I'm saying when I say that. But let's go ahead and move forward. After you make a copy of that image, let's go ahead and give it a name. And if you watch my tutorials on animation, you know that in order to give your your objects and your animation uh, any kind of animations, it has to have a name. In other words, in order for an object to be animated, you have to apply a name, which we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and give this image a name. I'm going to go ahead and call it Apple gray you can name it whatever you want I named it that because I can see that it has a grayish apple in the image and go ahead and hit add close the dialog out and then go to your toolbar to the transparency tool and let's go ahead and give this image a 99 percent transparency and alternatively you could just click in the box or double left click in the box and hit 99 hit enter and that'll give it a 99 percent transparency and the reason I'm giving it a transparency is I want the animation for the photo slideshow to start off transparent and I want it to fade into 100% of opacity. And what I mean by opacity, I mean like how solid the image is in terms of it being visually seeable. Right now it's at 99% opacity. I mean, well, it's at 99% transparency so you can't see it. But if we copy this frame and we make it 100% opaque, that means you'll see the 100% original image. So. I'm pretty sure you're able to follow that. Nothing complicated, you know, about what I just said, really. So now that we have it at 100% opacity, the next thing that we want to do is copy that image one more time. And this time we're going to again set it to 100%. Well, not 100%, 99% transparency. You can double left click in there and type in 99%. So from frame one, it starts off 99% transparent and it fades in to 100% opacity where we can see 100% of the original image and then in frame 3 it fades out to 99% again and this time in frame 3 we're going to actually hit control shift V and paste that image that we copy in frame 1 and when you do that go ahead and go back to your toolbar and select the selection tool and this time we're going to grab a new image from our designs gallery. So let's go ahead and grab whatever image you want and drag it over top of this image and it's going to replace that image. And just like before, we're going to go to the transparency tool and we're going to set this to 99% transparency. And actually before we set that to 99% transparency, let's go ahead and select our selection tool. And with this image selected, let's go to the name tag icon because we have to apply a name because remember we copy the image before we apply the name. And, that's, and we want to do that, that way that it'll have a blank name. It won't have any names applied to it. 
And so when we open this names dialog, I'm going to go ahead and give this the name brick wall. And I'm calling it brick wall because I see a brick wall in the image. Go ahead and hit add. Close that dialog out. Go back to your transparency tool. Set it to 99%. And you can also, again, like I said, click in there and just give it a percentage. That's a little bit easier for me, so I'll just do it that way. And then go ahead and copy that frame and set it to 100% opacity. And then copy that frame again. And this time we're going to set it to 99%. And I'm just going to click in there because it's easier for me. And so basically what's going to happen is in this last frame, it's going to fade out. And when it's going to go back to frame one which frame one is going to start at a, a transparent state and it's going to fade into image number two. So basically you keep repeating this process until you get all the images that you want. But at the last frame or the last image that you want, you want to make sure that it's transparent so that it fades out. And I'm going to go ahead and go to my properties options in my animation frame gallery. And I'm going to go to the tab that says animation loop and speed and I'm going to set each frame as display for five seconds and hit apply and if you wanted to loop continuously you would leave that option checked if you don't you would uncheck it and then hit close and all of our frames are going to show for five seconds but this last frame I'm going to make that display for about two seconds because you got to remember in frame one it's going to start off at a transparent state so from frame five we got a 10 second time frame where there's nothing but transparency and your users will probably wonder where your photo slideshow went why is it not appearing anymore and actually let's go ahead and double left click on that frame 5 and I'm actually going to set it to display for about one second because I really don't want a big gap there so that's going to be like a six second gap um, of transparency but you'll see the photo it won't be completely transparent and that's the reason I set it to one second so that there's less time of transparency. So let's go ahead and go to file and cl click on uh, preview flash and you'll see that it fades into that first image and it displays it at 100% opacity and then it fades out and then it's going to fade in that next image and then once that reaches 100% opacity it's going to fade out and then it's going to fade back in that original image that we had so that's how you create a photo slideshow using the animation features in XR. And it's just going to keep doing that continuously because we set it to a continuous loop. So hopefully this, this video tutorial was helpful. If it was, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, embed, or share our video. You know, leave a comment, that kind of thing. And if you have a request for a tutorial that you would like to see, just, leave, just let me know and I'll try to make you a tutorial on whatever sub subject that you need help with. Thanks for viewing our tutorials and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.